Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks. Um, forgot to pause this here first. There we go. I get too many, um, too many electronics running at the same time. I have my laptop running with my Netflix and I get my computer go off. Oh, anyway, I don't need to get into that. Anyway, doing another layout here. Um, let me start with telling you like I always tell you, I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. The only one thing that I do know is I did use this stack pack that is Sugar Plums by Recollections. And I would say this is probably from last year. I'm going to say last year. Um, pretty close. And my dog photo bomb already came in one of them let me see get over there get over there oh she wants back out she thinks she's gonna well she'll be quiet i was trying to wait till my husband got home i told him to go and i asked him i should say i should say i told him but i asked him if he would run and put gas in my car he does that for me so i don't have to get out with the kids and since i take and pick them up from school every day I asked him to go get gas, so he got home, and I was waiting to film until he got back, so that um, he wouldn't come running in the house and, and, and start talking when I was in the middle of filming. And he left an hour and a half, an hour ago, and the place where you get gas is five minutes down the road. So I called him and I said, where are you? And he said, getting gas in your car. I said, well, what'd you do, leave the state? What state did you go to to get gas? And the gas station's five minutes down the road. Well, he forgot to tell me that he also forgot to get me my cloth drops that I was out of, and I asked him to please make sure he got me some, so he, instead of telling me he forgot, while well, he went to get gas, he went to get me my cloth drops. Um, and thank you to, I can't remember who it was, um, said that found a lot of research on Pinterest regarding the Burning Mouth Syndrome. When I'm done doing what I'm doing here, I'm going to call it a night. I have two layouts that I'm going to do actually do tonight. And then I'm going to call it a night and I'm going to go research Pinterest for Burning Mouth and see what I can find because I'm getting desperate now, guys. It's getting very, 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 um, it's getting worse when I would suspect now it's going to be four years in June. Three, maybe three years, four years, something. Whatever it is, two, three, four years, whatever it is, it's been too long. And I've had it, it's making me nuts. So I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna do a Christmas, come some Christmas layouts of Amy and her crew. And the paper that I picked from that stack pack, the reason I picked it is because in some of these pictures are Charlie and Wyatt building a gingerbread house. So I picked this paper and I told you, on, uh, I mentioned on a previous video that I don't like to use the papers that have the prints. I use it for the background design, which I noticed on one of my, I broke down and looked at one of my recordings the other day and I was holding up the paper and you can't, couldn't see the print in it. And I thought, why do I bother holding them up? You can't even see them. However, you can see them when I take the pictures. Uh, but I had mentioned previously, just note to sell, um, that I don't like to use them when they're pre-printed um, with these sayings and uh, pictures on them. I always put my stuff over, but I'll use it for this color because I do like the color in the center. However, in this particular case, I decided to use the print on here that was already on here. But what I did is I went back and did my own glittering. And you may not be able to tell real well here, but when I take my close-ups, you'll see. Um, I did use that much of the paper. Typically, I don't even use that. Uh, these were six-inch pieces of white scrap that were from the end of a, some project that I was working on. And I took my Martha Stewart punch, uh, this one, that is one of my border punches. And those of you that might ask the name, I have no idea. 
And at this point in time, if they're no longer making those punches, it's not going to be relevant what the sign it is because you're not going to be able to get it anyway. And I never did make it over to Michael's. Don, I think you were one that told me, somebody else had told me as well, about the sale at Michael's and I never made it, didn't make it today either. Isabel, the two-year-old, is getting busier by the minute. I swear she lays in bed at night and said, what can I do tomorrow to push Nama right over the edge? Because she is busier than a cranberry merchant on Thanksgiving Day. And I have four levels on my house because I'm in a tri-level, but every level's finished off. And one room is designated to just their playroom, actually two rooms, and one's a very, very large room, designated with all their toys, another room with all the toys where they make forts and everything else. I mean, they have more than ample amount of toys, but Isabel cannot seem to find something to play with. It has to be something she's not supposed to do. Told my, her mommy and daddy today, because I kept telling them she was the best of all of them. She was the, oh, she is the best natured child I have ever seen, but she is busier. Oh, I tell you, I spend more time peeling her off of something. Everything that she shouldn't do, she is doing. And she goes down for a nap after I take Will to school. And when she goes down for a nap, I go down to a, for a nap with her. I lay down with her to get her to sleep. But it is my highlight of the day because I get to take a nap. She wears me out. Love that child more than life itself, but oh, she wears me out. Kid is so incredibly busy. The paper that I used has these candies and gumdrops and mints and things. These are all Christmas, uh, Christmas candies. And, oh, actually, this is really cool. I did not see that, but this is embossed where it says Merry Christmas. I'm going to use that. And the other piece that I use says peppermints, frosting, sweets, chestnuts. This is from this um, stack that I showed you. This is three inches wide and this is two inches wide. Um, every other word or every few words, I think it looks like it's only the green, is all done in glitter. So really neat. But I also have this gift trim ribbon that I get at Michael's over the holidays that I'm going to be using. And put a gun away. I've got too many guns out. And I have no idea what I'm going to do here, but I say that I think every single time I say that, and I don't mean to sound so re uh, annoying and repetitious, but it is what it is. I want this paper to pop out a little bit more, so I'm going to put the glitter on it, and it's probably not going to, since I'm winging it here, I think I might have to do some corrections as I go because I have a feeling that if I put this ribbon on both sides you're not going to see this piece. I'm going to tell you right now I'm correct. I'm definitely correct. You're not going to see it. Kelly, um, you said I was on a roll with scrapbooking. You sent me a message today. I'm on a roll and my kids are praying to God that I don't fall off. They're having a ball that I'm getting caught up here. I'm not anywhere near caught up, but the fact that I'm getting anything done is close. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I have some glitter tool here and I have some red tool and I have some gold. No, I don't know why, but every now and then I like to just do. So on this I am going to cut this down the center. 
Guys, it's in the double digits temperature outside now. So I was complaining the other day on my video, somebody from Canada told me about their temperature and uh, made that rash decision that I will never move to Canada. And of course, it's only about eight hours north of me anyway. But we are in the double digits and that to me is a heat wave. We've actually had a really mild winter. Guys, have you ever seen anybody go from one topic to another as quickly as I can with no hesitation? I'm not going to believe you if you tell me you know somebody that can do that because I'm, uh, I'm doubt that. I watch my videos. No, I don't. Very rarely watch my videos. However, when I do, this is why I don't watch them, is because I can't even keep up with me. I watch because somebody will make a comment about something that I said, and I don't know what I said, so I have to go back and look, listen. And all I think is, God bless every one of you that is a follower, that are so incredibly kind with the things that say, you say, because I can't keep up with me and I don't know how you do it. You guys are saints. You know, I've been getting hit with that, uh, that uh, don't like button a lot. On the last few videos, I feel like somebody's out there to sabotage me. Not taking it personal, because you know what? I don't care. Um, but at least there haven't been nasty comments and the rest of it still don't still can't figure out why it's even there as an option because who cares the only thing that can come out of that is a negative there is no positive to come from asking a question like that unless you give the option of somebody asking why. If you have a why and you explain your reasoning, then it can be advantageous. Otherwise, there is nothing, no reason for it. But I'm over it. I'm over it. I am so over it. There we go. I only left about an inch of the two, <laughs> two inches that I cut. Um, that's okay. And I'm bringing it up halfway in the flower. And one of the things was is because I only really wanted the border because this is a Christmas layout, not a summer layout. So I'm going to bring the border so you just kind of see the swirly edges and you don't see the flower. So you lose the flower effect completely. And again, it's because this is a summer flower punch and this is a Christmas layout. The two, I don't think they go so well. You're wondering what I was going to do with this. I don't know. Let me see what I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to twist it like that. And, well, that's not working. So we're going to try and knot it. There we go. That's what I'm going to do with that. I think what I'll do, though, is to try and adhere it a little bit. I'm going to run just a strip to hold that in place. This glitter um, tool is awesome. I absolutely love it, but it is so messy. So messy. I get glitter everywhere. There we go. My daughter came over tonight to help me finish an order. I told you I was going to do a, a video on the cat in the hat. However, I decided not to because I have done the cat in the hat before. And sometimes the, the things that I'm working on right now, uh, the orders that I'm doing, 
I've filmed before and to try and not be so repetitious the layouts are all different so it's not quite so repetitious there's the first page and I picked the, these things up at a sale at Hobby Lobby and the little cookie cutter and little gingerbread and some more gingerbread and cookie cutters and stars and I don't know which ones I'm going to use. I'm going to turn my hot food gun on. I'm going to decide after I lay down my pictures. See, I was talking today or mentioned about journaling and the reason that I don't journal, somebody had asked me, is because I can re hardly remember what I did today, let alone what my great grandkids did. Um, so, and these are pictures that are coming from my children of my grandkids and they don't necessarily tell me my older daughter in particular is a somebody who journals and has journaled her entire well ever since she could write and so she has books written of her kids and so the journaling here the kids as they get older they'll be able to put it together if I started doing the journaling here number one I would get absolutely nowhere. These books would never get done. I would not be videotaping because I would not have the time. I would be on the phone all day long asking my kids, this picture, when was this from? You know, um, so those of you that have asked me about that, I am the grandmother. I journaled in my children's books because I knew do not journal in my grandkids books because I don't always necessarily know what was happening. Since I'm doing the scrapbooks, they can do the they can do the storytelling. So, and they do. They do. But they do it differently. They buy the journal books and write them down like that. Um, these are snowflakes, another Martha Stewart snowflake punch. And then I'm going to figure out, this was the Charlie's grinning from ear to ear on her picture of her making her, her and um, Wyatt making their uh, gingerbread houses. Yeah, let me see. I'm going to put these kind of on a curve. I gotta figure out now how I'm gonna do the, the pages can sit across from it because I have no idea what I just did. I was so busy jabbering. I brought it over a little bit because there's a gingerbread guy here, and I am gonna use one of these gingerbread guys right on top of him. And I don't want to cut this one off at all because that's the finished product. And as I mentioned in my layout that I did last night, if anybody saw that video, I don't do anything straight and symmetrical. I just want to take the, whoo, thankfully those didn't land in my thigh. Um, I don't want to do anything on my layout that would make make it apparent if something wasn't just perfect and crooked or whatever. So I lay my pages randomly. This one I am going to grab. This has got some cookie cutters. I think I might use those too. Those are really cute. These make the pages thick. So when you put them in your sleeves, the protector sleeves, you do have to be kind of careful how thick you allow your page to be because um, a lot of times I buy buttons, decorative buttons, and cut the back off of them, but sometimes they're too thick and they don't work so good. It's trial and error. This one though, I know these were not buttons, 
and this little gingerbread guy. Oh, they were buttons, but the buttonholes were where his little buttons are, and he fits perfect right on top of where that gingerbread was there. But this page definitely needs another gingerbread or two, since I've got like a thousand of them. This is another one of these things after the end of the season. I went and, and oh, here's another pack. It's cut paper cutters. I just have no idea the stash. If anybody was turned loose, turned loose in my office, they would have a heyday because I have more than Michael's. I think these, I'm thinking, might be just a little too thick. I may save those to do on a Christmas centerpiece. I'll save these until I do the other page. There is that page. And now let's bring this one over here. I told my daughter was over tonight, like I said, helping me. And finish up that other order, and I told her, she needs to print me out more pictures. She only printed me out what I get, and I ended up getting six, eight pages out of everything that she print out, printed out, print out, print, printed out. Desperately need her to do a little bit more. And down here. Remember how I said I wanted to bring it down so all I saw was the bottom. I didn't want the flower. Then we did the red glitter ribbon. I wish I would have made it over to Michael's because I well they're probably sold out by now but I guarantee that they, they had the uh, ribbons and this stuff is great for scrapbooking and a whole lot less expensive than the cutting the sheets of glitter paper up. This stuff is really cheap, cheap ribbon. But it works perfect for what I use it. Whoops. There we go. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And I think I'm going to be done with that one. Jenna had, had um, gone through my stuff. I can't remember how long ago it was that she did it. And had straightened all my ribbons and, and things that have a tendency to get um, pretty messed up. And she came over probably a few weeks after she had done it. She was working and she said, boy, it didn't take you very long to make a mess of that. So no, nope, it doesn't. And I'm working, I'm on a mission. And she comes over and works every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I was gonna call her tonight and give her a hard time because I'm not here. I usually leave when she's working. I let her work on her own because I have the kids. I was going to call her tonight and tell her that um, she was giving me a hard time about messing up what she cleaned up, but she never picks up when she's done. So before I can start a project, I have to sweep my floors and wipe down my glass tops. And I decided I better not tell her that because she's about ready to give birth and her humor might not be where it normally would be so i'm gonna let that one slide that'll be between you and me yep she's only got two and a half weeks to go and she's at the very uncomfortable stage right now now that we know that um amy is having a boy 
have a sneaky feeling that this one may be a girl. But I know it's one or the other. That much I do know. Yeah, two and a half. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Time goes so fast. Seems like I was sitting here scrapbooking and talking to y'all, getting ready for the wedding. Now, here we are, getting ready for their first child. What else is there going on here? Kendall's doing fantastic. She was interviewed on Monday night for the Make the Wish Foundation because she's the this year's poster child or whatever for the ALS. And um, they're going to be starting, apparently, they're going to be starting now on her indoor playhouse. That's what I got the impression is going to be happening. And should that be the case, you guys will be hearing all about that. Something else that I'm going to be sharing uh, on a video, but it will probably only be sharing for my, subscri my subscribers. Because I feel if you're a follower and a subscriber, is because you don't have an issue with listening to me talk about my family and talk about everything that goes on in my life.